You need motivation? Tune in now. Guess you what they don't want. Sometimes people will put things on you or put you through stuff that they themselves cannot even handle or cannot even control a phantom. So you gotta be careful with people like that. For instance, there'll be certain guys out here. They see a girl, they be like, hey, what's up, honey, how you doing? Can I get your number? Girl be like, oh, I got a boyfriend. Oh, you got a boyfriend, you can't have friends? Can I be your friend? I wanna get to know you. Knowing that sometimes they might have an agenda one to hit and do their thing, keep them moving and just keep you around because they like what they see at that moment. But some of these guys, if they have girlfriends, they'll be angry if their girl give out a number. But they'll be angry if another guy come at their girl neck and try to get to know them and see how far they can take it with them. So you got to dish out what you can handle, not what you don't want. Because people will do that to you. Certain times people will lie to you, tell you all types of stuff that they know ain't true. And keep it moving and act like it's okay. But the moment they catch you lying, oh my gosh, it's a problem. They give you all types of names. They try to make you feel bad or feel less than a person. But when it's them, they can get away with it. Nah, man, treat other people the way you want to be treated and dish out what you know you will want dished out back to you. Sometimes I go to a restaurant and when I see people servants, sometimes they'll give people very good servants. And when it's me, sometimes I feel like the servants ain't right. I feel like, man, it's a it's a little bit of it's a little bit of food they're giving me. And I say, excuse me, can you add some more to my plate? Can you put some more rice? Can you put some more uh, sides? Can you add some more of that? Yeah, more beans, more cheese, more whatever. Because at the end of the day, I work hard for my money the same way everybody else does. And if um, somebody else before me comes and they give that person a good amount of food, I deserve a good amount of food too. And one thing I noticed in some of these restaurants, like certain people look out for certain people. Like sometimes, you know, they treat the white people very good, like Spanish people or whites or blacks. And sometimes when Spanish people see their own people, they treat them very good too. They hook them up, give them the hook up. But sometimes when they see black people, or me, but usually with black people, or people that look like me, you'll see that they will do the portions funny. Now, not everybody does this, but certain people will do this. I've, I've seen it, I've experienced it, so it's true. I'm speaking something that I have faced. And I'll be like, dang, like, why is my portions like off? And sometimes black people, we just take anything. And people start to see that, oh, they, they treat themselves like anyhow, they do anyhow, so we can dish them whatever and keep them moving. That's why sometimes you go to a Chinese restaurant and the owners will be arguing with the customers and they'll be looking some type of way or get out of my store or talking to them like they some trash. And then next week you'll see the same person they were talking to right there. I mean, oops, I said a week. A week is too long. Two days later, oops, I said two days. Maybe an hour later, they're right back trying to buy some chicken and fried rice with mambo sauce. So at the end of the day, you gotta learn how to dish out what you want. So I'd be like, can you put some more food on there for me? Because some of these people, when they go elsewhere and they want to eat, see how they're working and sweating and get their money? They would want to get good portions and be satisfied and get what they deserve their money is supposed to pay for. Not being shortchanged. People do not like that. They might look at me like, oh man, you the type of dude that just want to eat and eat and eat. Y'all like begging. Y'all like begging for food. Y'all just want some more. Uh, hey, whatever you think, that's on you. But at the end of the day, I want to leave feeling satisfied as a customer and happy about whatever I spent my money on. I deserve that. That's my right. Also, there be certain people out here that they'll rape women. They'll do certain things bad to females or other people. But they don't want that for their own children or their own family members. So why are you out there dishing it? Why are you out there giving it out? Why are you out there putting other people through habit? There's some people that they'll rape a girl or they'll rape a little child or hurt somebody. But when you do that to their own family member, who did it? Who did it? I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. But you ready to go hurt somebody else's child. Some people that be in high positions, you'll see them. They'll be like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use these people to come through to get an opportunity here. We're going to take advantage of them. Oh, excuse me, sir. I like to get this job. Oh, you want to get this job? Well, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do this. Use a certain woman for sexual favors, taking advantage of them. But then when they go home and they see their children, they be like, hey, look, don't let no man take advantage of you. 
Don't let nobody do anything to you that's going to embarrass you or de de demean, you know, to lower your character. Do things that's going to take away from your wholesomeness. Don't, don't let nobody do that. But you out there doing that to other people's children and finding ways to hurt them. So always remember, people who do things to you that they do not want for themselves. And look out for those people because they're not good. Stay away from them. Even when it comes to little stuff like gas. Hey, you want you trying to put some gas in my tank? Some people won't do it. But let them get a car, you know. They will want you to put gas in their tank. Hey, look, I want I need gas, bro. But you don't give me gas, so why should I give you gas? People, that's human nature. So look out for that, man. If you're around people that are real, treat you right, and respect you, and everything goes fairly, they treat you how they want to be treated, and they don't play with you, stick to them, hold them, grow with them, and make the best out of the situation. If you like what I'm talking about, subscribe to my channel, man. I got more content on the way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this piece, please subscribe for more content. And if you would like to give any ideas, you can leave that in the comment section below or email. To donate tips or resources, you can also do that with the links posted. Thank you. Have a great day.